going to talk about how do we get our wireless device to connect to the wireless radio network and open up a data session to allow us to pass traffic over an IP socket to a server somewhere in the non-wireless world. So, first thing that happens, we have a wireless device that has a SIM card in it. A SIM card has a number of credentials on it to identify it with the core network. The first thing we do when we register on the wireless network, we attach the radio signal of a carrier. We then communicate those credentials for the SIM card to a network element called an HLR, a Home Location Register. And this holds the details of that SIM card and the services that that SIM card is allowed access to in the network. This is the GSM registration. We hand those credentials to the HLR and it replies with the services that are available to it in the GSM world. Now we're registered on the network, we know we have radio access, we can start carrying out more signaling to be able to get us access to other elements of the, the network. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually get access to the data part of the network. So we need to do a data attach. And we send our potential to the HLR requesting a data attach. If we're allowed to use data, we'll get back the corresponding results. And now we now have what we call a data attach, and we're able to start the process of creating a data connection. If this were a handset, it's at this point that you would see the little G or E for Edge or 3G for the 3G services that your phone has access to. You can't pass any data at this point, you haven't actually got a data connection, you just know that you're allowed to have a data connection. So the next thing we have to do is to communicate with a piece of the network infrastructure called the GGSN. And this handles what we call the creation of a PDP context. And you can think of the PDP context as a, a tunnel through the radio world that is an IP-based tunnel very similar to in concept to a piece of wire that you're passing data over in a, in a fixed environment. To create the PDP context, we need to send some details to the GGSN about what we want to do. For example, we need to tell it what the APN is. The APN defines the route that the data is, going to, is allowed to take from our end device through to our server somewhere in the non-wireless world. This APN can have a username, and also a password. These are optional elements that are there for security as well. So we pass this information to the GGSN. The GGSN looks at the APN and says, okay, I'm going to speak to a, another piece of equipment called a radius server, which handles the authentication. So it'll check the username and password, it'll check that that SIM has access, allowed access to that APN. And if it is, it'll tell the GGSN to go ahead and create the PDP context. The GGSN will then send back to your device the IP address, DNS server, and any other information required by the device or the operator wants to send here. Now your device has an IP address. It could be a fixed IP address, a private IP address, a public IP address, but let's just assume we have IP address for our device. We are now able to start using IP as the protocol to communicate with our server on this side. I imagine this is um, a, a public IP address, 172.1.1.1. We can now use standard IP protocols to open up an IP socket through the core network of the radio operator over the PDP context to the GGSN and out onto the internet to find this server. So we now have a device with GSM registration, data attachment on the network, and an open PDP context that we can now send data through. 